Stanley the Science Shark, everyone. Stanley. He's here to, uh... Anyone from out of town? She's from out of town. From out of town. Murloc sounds like the most hardcore like name for like a dinosaur hunter. That's what you get for being an awful boss. Anyway, um, I know, I went there early. Let's, do you want to start from that end and go and then just quickly introduce yourselves and then let everyone know who... Uh, uh, okay. Hi. Hi. I know, I'm the sexiest. Hi, I'm Laura. Post. <laughs> Laura Post. I'm Valentine in Skullgirls, uh, Aryan League of Legends. I'm Radio Kiriuin in Kill a Kill, and a bunch of other stuff. But mostly you're here for Skullgirls, so I'm Valentine in Skullgirls. Yeah. Hi, I'm Kira Buckland. If I look out of place, I just came from hosting the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure panel, so. <laughs> Boss that you love to hate, Bloody Marie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sarah. Um, I host Peacock and Skullgirls, and um, Jinx in League of Legends, and No Known Jacuzzi Day, and Kill Kill, blah blah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hi, everybody. I'm Kimlin Tran. I voice Miss Fortune in Skullgirls. What up, guys? <laughs> And I also voice Vigia in Dust and Alicia Dale. Too many characters in Stick It to the Man. And most recently, I was able to voice match Rarity for some Hasbro apps. So. <laughs> Hello, I'm KG Tang, and uh, I was one of the Black Egrets. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, run, I run a YouTube channel for Voices Gaming. Story modes for their characters. So we're like, isn't it a shame that you know all the characters in the world just have any voices? Fix that. And hilarity ensued. Um, you can also hear me as Faust from Guilty Gear, Exerd, uh, Jan Lee from Dead or Alive, Li Shaolan from Tekken, um, Wingle from Tales of Exilia, and Owen from Wait. Wait. I broke. Ah! Uh, Oh, well, I'm gonna keep my broken mic. <laughs> I'm Christine Gabanos, and I voice Philia in Skullgirls. And, yeah. and, 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 in Skullgirls? Oh, yeah, and Philia! I'm like, who are you talking about? Yeah, Philia and Fukua, and I'm also Mako in Kill a Kill. I'm Madoka from Madoka Magica. I'm Shami from Blue Exorcist, Solita from Sword Art Online, and a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> hey. Hi, I'm Danielle McCrane. I am Payne Will and Skullgirls. I'm Carmine League of Legends. I'm Darren Gargantia, and many other things. Many other things. Hi, my name is Eric Scott Kimmerer. I was another Black Egret. We have two of four up here. Uh, yes. 
and um, other ones you might know me as. I was Mark Evans in Eden's Mail 11 on the 3DS. Um, in anime, I was Ryuji Takatsu in Toradora, and Alibaba in Monkey the Labyrinth of Magic. <laughs> Sarah, his chair is sentient. <laughs> is that confirmed? Yeah. Can somebody explain Wait, is that to confirmed? me? Is that chair sentient? Is that confirmed? I know. No, 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 it wasn't. Uh -huh. They were joking that um, Beowulf was going to talk to the chair, like in his own head. Like in his head, the chair is sentient. <laughs> <laughs> Be like, <laughs> right. Or it can be like Mako in the ocean in Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge. It's like, oh, the ocean and I are getting married. <laughs> Isn't that right, chair? The chair says yes. I like how the chair is sitting, too. <laughs> 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 Or rain of chairs. <laughs> 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 chair the air and isn't that actual? Oh my god, is that chair It's just Beowulf's, Beowulf's speculation now for the whole panel. What do you want to see out of Beowulf? Yeah. <laughs> The chair and I are getting married. <laughs> Isn't that right, chair? <laughs> the chair says yes. <laughs> so, um, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask. Otherwise, we will just be sitting up here speculating about future DLC characters and, and judging you for your costumes. <laughs> Science shark. Not you. <laughs> Anyone Mine. other than Ed Bosco? All right, Ed Bosco. Yeah, what do you want? Son of a bitch, I actually like that question. You a person who is very excited. Spooky, scary, scary. I can't follow her right up now. Um, I'll go with one of my childhood favorites, although I just totally like dated myself and everyone knows how old I am now. But it would be Doctor, Doctor, can't you see I'm burning, burning? Yeah. Merry go round broke down. Yeah, 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 Yeah. Okay, why don't we? 
Uh, sign shark for sure. I love the sign shark. Stanley, whatever. Sign shark. Is always sign shark. Or I really liked Annie. I like Annie. We already have covered this. Okay. Well, hello, internet. We just already heard this, but I wanted Annie because I was sure that she was a trap. She would be the best trap ever because it was like when you read her breakdown, it was like she's a celebrity, but she has a dark secret, and if it comes out, her career will be destroyed. And I was like, oh man, that would be awesome if she's like a magical girl with a man part and was a trap. So I voted for her, and then like I was at a Skullgirls gal gathering, and Alex was there, and I'm like, you have to tell me, is Annie a trap? And he was like, no. <laughs> no. Yeah, and I was like, oh, I was so sure. But such is Saint Louis. Right. It's okay. There's a character named Bridget in Guilty Gear. If any of you play that, that will satisfy you. <laughs> Obviously, I voted for myself, and everyone's like. No, you're too broken. I'm like, well, she doesn't have to be this skull heart version. Come on. But I mean, my biggest dream ever, because I used to play fighting games competitively, is to voice a playable character in a fighting game. Were and. You, were you there, Karen, when Mike actually told to play the version? Yes, he let me play it. And, Skulls. And it literally had every Skulls. Move. Skulls. Yeah. Skulls. Skulls. Yeah, he's like, oh, you can just you push, like, heavy punch, and this huge skeleton will come out of it. Um, I would have liked, I, I would like, more and more I think I would like to see Adam. In his shifty eyes. He's just some dude. I really want, I really want that dating sim to be official. <laughs> Peacock is bad end. <laughs> no matter what you do, she's the bad end. <laughs> Talison, because I'm not. Yes, so I can. Yes, I'm sorry, I'm a dirty girl. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So Stanley's a sign chart, Adam. Sarah. If you haven't seen it, you can go online and Sarah, Sarah's a little tipsy and she comes up with the greatest character backstory for Yuan ever. Just Google just you and Yuan character history. Yes, it, it's beautiful. It has like um you did. Danielle's this weekend. Yes. That plush turtle was very drunk. And you can see how much she loves turtle online. That's not a dirty thing. Sarah said that was Minette, right? Yeah, Minette, and then... I kind of wanted... Was Venus part of it? If I remember? Venus was really cool, because I remember her from like very early concepts. Yeah, right? Because isn't she part of it? And Umbrella didn't even make it. I like Umbrella. Umbrella's the best. <laughs> Umbrella, so Ella, Ella, A, A, A. Um, well, I chose Brain Drain. But it's immersed between that and Saitana. It's um, I think I was, I'm going to agree with Kim on that one, I really wanted Taliesin. I thought that would have been a cool one with the muse that he has. Yeah, the muse. Yeah. Because this seems to always be the that I'm in, man, I'm in, where it's like, what's your favorite character besides yours? It's always Sarah's, because in League it's Jinx, and yeah, I love Peacock. I love Peacock. She's awesome. She's hilarious. She's fun to play. My main team is Valentine and Peacock, and it's awesome, and yeah, Peacock. So I like your costume. <laughs>
I actually really like whenever I'm just playing um, Skullgirls, I like to play Sarah Bella. She's really funny. Mm. Freaking love Eliza yes. to death. She has the best background music. She, sh I love, I love her so much. She's so, she's so, she's so. Um, aside from his fortune, I like Peacock and Pain Wheel and Swiggly because out of the main eight, they it is eight, right? Um, they there's more than eight. Corey and Swiggly, and um, they are the most unconventional um, designs of lot, and they just attract my eye. It's really cool. Uh, it used to be Parasol, but ever since I got to play big band, oh yes. crap! You can, you can improv with this little trumpet. It's so yeah. great. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I can't see my life. I'll remember one day. <laughs> it's all the aspartame on the time. <laughs> my favorite is actually Valentine. One, she's like super sexy, and uh, she's like the fastest. I feel like is she, mm. is she not? Yeah, because my character's really like base and balanced, so I like using those. Yeah. And I also like the whole, like, your big special with the giant curtain. Yeah, it's like the best one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I love Eliza. She's beautiful and she's just so. <laughs> Honestly, I think it's going to be uh, Peacock as well. Um, I live with Sarah over there. She's my roommate, so I basically am surrounded by that all the time. And yet, and, and yet I'm the one who annoys her when I spam Jinx's laugh track all the <laughs> Every single game. Oh my god, leave me alone! It never ends! <laughs> because I was going to trounce you guys with all of them because I'm like, I'm every villain ever. <laughs> do it. Um, well, I, now I have to make an argument. This is tough. Uh, okay, it's Valentine and Ragyo and Ari, and it's great because Ari will charm you into listening to what we say, and then Ragyo will just make your clothes kill you, and you'll die. <laughs> you'll, you'll be dead before. And Valentine just stands there in case like charm runs out, you know, she can just like stab you and then pass you out again. So double pass out. But mostly your clothes are just gonna eat you and then that's the end. Oh. Uh, I guess mine would be like the pigtail mean girl squad. So it would be Marie, um, Easy Mo from Blue Exorcist and Sayoji from Dagoropa 2. And they would just Ooh. They do wear clothes, but <laughs> they would just look really cute and you wouldn't that they're mean. <laughs> uh, Pe Peacock, No Known, and Jinx. What? No Known! Peacock doesn't count. That dress is bolted to her body. <laughs> it's not even probably a dress. It's probably like metallic or something. It doesn't count. They have to be, uh uh, because they have to be made by the Rev, Rev Co. Company. Uh, yeah. 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 Show logic. How can I win against that? I mean, Miss Fortune can tear up clothes. She does that in every opening, but uh, uh, Midget is naked, so. Yeah! Double shoot. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I Find, find another naked character. Uh, Granda, she wears. She doesn't wear fabric, she wears people's skin. Yes, nudist theme, yeah! Defeated nudist beach! So, I voiced Kenshiro from Fist of the North Star. What up? <laughs> 
Oh, that's true. He can't really defeat little girls. That's his weakness. Oh, man. Oh, man. You're a robot. You're a robot. Alright, fine. Uh, let's see. Kenshiro, I would definitely have. We'll have, um, uh, Tsumugu Kinigase just to counter your life fibers. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to think, like, strategically now. <laughs> what counters little girls? <laughs> Guys, how do you counter little girls? Head over! Dirty old men. Dirty old men. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you how you can kill little girls. <laughs> oh, that's true. That is really creepy. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Okay, Lee Shalon. Lee Shalon, Kenshiro, and um, who else did I say? Sumaku. <laughs> I only need one person on my team, and that's Madoka, because she rewrites the laws of the universe and will win every single time. Bravo! Cheap. That's cheap. That's cheap. Oh, we're bringing Canada into this. I'm going to bring uh, Fluffy Thor Hagar from World of Warcraft, because she's, she's not naked. Yeah, I just killed her. She's totally not naked. Crane wheel. And she's not really, well, yeah. She's not naked though either. And I'm gonna just bring Thoria from Teleaska and Logic. She's got that airing magic. Space is magic. See, uh, for me it'd be Hariyuki Yagates as Silver Crow to counter the whole bullshit <laughs> that you got going on there. And then uh <laughs> You know, I was just gonna say I was gonna bring Ducker from Sword Art Online. He'd open a treasure chest and kill you all. It'd be a suicide. Movie. Yeah, it would be. It'd be like Voltorb self-destruct, basically. But um, and then the last one, Ryuji Takasu would just come in and clean everything up for all you guys. <laughs> My characters are really boring. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that question. <laughs> like as their their character in Skullgirls, right? Uh, know your place. I'm peacock and I'm gonna spin everything ever and make you hate yourself and throw your controller in anger. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I've got a new scratching post. Hi, I'm Paige Dang, and I'm Negro. <laughs> <laughs> I have a brain parasite. I I I Yes! Well, excuse me, princess! <laughs> that was a line. That was a line in the, in the air. You have to... Tell me where it hurts. Oh. All right, this is a question for everybody. You have the power and programming of Mike Z, and you have the artist skills of Al Tahad. You have the property schoolgirls in your hands. What do you do with it? Dating <laughs> 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. 
you lose. Yes. Yes. You can unlock that girl's chair. Zoe is going to be a character. Zoe is going to be a character. Oh, oh, Giraffe Man could be a character too. Giraffe Man.
Oh, you were next. You were next. Uh, what should I paved with good intentions, which, you know, was the Lab 8 uh, background, but like I said, I freaking love Eliza's Egyptian theme. It's so good. Yeah, that's good. I like the Maple Crest theme a lot. Woo! Um, I ain't gonna touch the mic. I'm gonna pass it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this is gonna be a little bit of 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 a yeah. Oh, okay. I like the uh, Lab 8 uh, music because it reminds me of Space Jam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And this is what's so boring about being at the end of the table because all I can do is repeat. Uh, the Eliza theme is really awesome. I love that song so much. <laughs> This is one I have to pass on because I haven't played all the endings yet. Oh, so I can't, I can't critically say. I don't play it. <laughs> favorite peacock, least favorite. I really can't like, say what the least favorite one was. Yeah, I don't really have one. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna single anyone out. I'm, I'm just gonna say peacock is my favorite. Uh, my favorite, my favorite's Eliza. My least favorite is Penguin. My favorite is Kukulis. Have you guys seen that one? Yeah. Isn't it the best? Oh god, I screamed. Oh wait. And now I'm passing it to you. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, yes. I also really like Kukulis. <laughs> I also like doubles just because it's like, what? Nothing is canon? It's just three gods playing a video game? I like this. I don't really have a least favorite one. They're all pretty great. Um... Yeah, don't have a least favorite. Are we, are we counting even the non-canon ones too? Yes. Because they're, they're all non-canon. They're, non they're all okay. Because I was about to say the one where peacock turns everyone into puppies or something like that. <laughs> that one. No one, no one knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> I, I, I think we decided the finals or something that uh, peacock tried to turn everyone into puppies. She just, but yeah, I don't remember. That's the one they didn't use where she makes a bunch of, of wishes. She's, instead of blowing up, she actually just like makes a bunch of wishes. The horse just like. Band is my favorite, and Eliza's my least favorite. Not that I don't love Eliza's, it's epic, it's just it's really depressing. It's <laughs> but I love that, I still love it, but it's like in terms of depressed, like that's a depressing ending. It's awesome though, but you know. <laughs> oh, that question, someone's like, oh, Mike Z's programming and, and, and Alex Holland's thing. I want a point and click detective story with Big Band and Peacock. <laughs> oh my god, I want this. Yeah, I want to, I want to free, you know, like, but, Telltale, do it. <laughs> so awesome. um, I would also say that Peacocks is my favorite. Um, I can't really choose a least favorite. I'm sorry. I know that's like the same answer everybody's giving. <laughs> uh, hmm, that's my favorite one. I kind of actually like Valentine's, but only because of our playthrough where we had the whole like, and I will always love you. And then we had Faceception. Like, I love that ending. And every time I play it, I'm like, yeah, faceception. There's a face under that face. It's sad that your face was under that face. Uh, and least favorite, it's kind of a toss up between Parasol and uh, Philia, just because they're both 
equally depressing. <laughs> like, I'm like, aww. <laughs> but then she's all like, yay, you get to smile, ow. Oh. And I'm like, oh. Oh, my skull And same thing with Paris always. Like, I need to train you to kill me. Which is funny, because that's sort of like my favorite ending, where I'm like, all right, I'm going to do this, and then you better come kill me. And it's like, oh, well. But I like oh, that I one. Oh, my child. I love deeply, even though I tortured you. Yep. Yep. So that's, that's me. So many. Yeah. I will still eternally and always love uh, the Philia flag. I, I just yeah. <laughs> stole it. <laughs> no, you said any frame oh, of any animation. Frame of animation. Uh, I think it, that's a good one. Yeah. That was my second pick. For me, I think it's uh, uh, misfortunes just playing with her head and everything. I think uh, yeah. yeah. Good job, man. That was really also. I, uh, well, I'll wait because if someone says I'll feel bad for stealing. Well, I was gonna say, I like Philea's fit too. Oh, yeah. It's like, hey! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that one? Yeah. I like also, since everyone's saying that one, the, um, there's one where Philea, like, she jumps in the air and then she has an afro with a comb in it. Like that one? That was really cute. Oh my god! It's a sickness yeah, the, the Valentine temperature thing. Uh, she breaks it with her hand. It's an amazing piece of paper. Yeah. Okay. Misfortune doing the head juggling thing, too. That's my favorite. chest hair onto the chair. <laughs> it's just chairs. It's not even moving, it's just a chair. It's like <gasps> slender chair. Chairman. <laughs> <laughs>
Pokemon Alpha Sapphire recently, and I caught a dust skull and named it Marie. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I know, right? That was probably like Chansey or yeah. I know. I'm like, are Jigglypuff? But really, that has nothing to do. That would be more of a squiggly sort of thing, I guess. But at the same time, I was gonna say something like like Scyther or something, just because. You know? With a surgery mask. Yeah, yeah, a scyther with a surgery mask. That's that's what Valentine would officially have now, I've decided. Wow, about that! It's about pains in the ass. He has a little face coming out of his butt. He does. Have you seen that thing? He's got a little face. I guess. I don't know if it's his tail or a sentient fur. I can say. Purloin because just like they float upon each other. Purloin because stealing and cat and cat. You know what we should have. You know, we should have, like, the Pokemon, like, the team whatever grunts always have in the game. Yeah. So it's like an Ekans, or like a Weezing, or like a, or a Rattatime, you know? And we're always shocked that we lose. We're like, how could you defeat my Rattatime? It's... it's I'm the, oh. Yeah, my, my wheels. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have a bias towards Mew, but I feel like I need a Pokemon that has like, just like, made of hair. Is there one like that? I'm gonna go with Charizard. I like Katie's idea. I mean, honestly, my input would be unknown. It just seems appropriate, you know? Listen, no. Yeah, for each egret, we get like 26 egrets now. Guys, guys, guys. Missing no. Missing no. Missing no. Missing no. Love me for who I am. Oh. The egret gets the skull heart. <laughs> no, I was, just, I was just saying, well done. Yeah. <laughs> I'm enabling your path. I would give an ending. Oh. No consequences for the skull heart. Hell yeah! Bring back my family. Woo! Ah, it's horrible. <laughs> you guys would have made all those wishes just to win a small heart. <laughs> Me and Peacock give each other hugs and we're best friends forever. Aww. Aww. And we write a uh, I just straight up destroy the skull heart and don't don't take it over because I don't see why she wouldn't have just destroyed it, but she didn't. So she was like, hey, Pain Wheel, I'm going to give you that satisfaction. So in my perfect ending, Valentine would be like, Psh, no, I got this. Problem solved, guys. No need for All right, and uh, I think this will be the last question. Yeah. <laughs> well, now, now Pokemon, obviously. <laughs> We already have it set up.
Pokemon. She definitely Pokemon. She could totally work at a Pokemon Center. She's already got the uniform. So good. No one ever gets her Pokemon back. She's arrested for malpractice. <laughs> Obviously, Looney Tunes. She's there. It's too easy. <laughs> I just want to see an episode of Supernatural, or like an episode per character for Supernatural. Yes. <laughs> Fan fiction writers get on that, I know you're out there somewhere. Wait, 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 I'm gonna go to Sonic Hill. Just take that over. Take that over. Like a random 90s cartoon, like Cat Dog or something? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Save by the bell. That was it! Hey! Thanks for coming, guys. I love Big Van's win when he just flies off into the stratosphere. <laughs> Especially when it's accompanied by Rich Brown going, I have to go now. My planet needs me. Like, oh, that's so much. Oh, I think a lot of Squiggly's and Cerebella's animations look really cool, especially. I saved it. I also really, really, really love Leviathan's dead ass face. <laughs> yeah, that, that's also the other little gem. Because it's awesome. I said you would go next. I promised. So if you go out with one solo character, would it be why? Like, Do we get to include the all the DLC? Wait, wait, like, like romantically or just like hang out? Like romantically. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like hmm. Uh, <laughs> not trap any. First off, yeah, underage, no. Second off. Look, I like the concept of her being a trap, but I'm not attracted to those. <laughs> um, I don't know. You know what? Science shark. Because he would, he would entertain me on an intellectual level. <laughs> I would date Eliza because she is beautiful. Um... I love Beowulf to death, though I'd also love Adam, just because who doesn't love Adam? <laughs> Parasol loves Adam. Yeah, have, you seen, have you seen that one comic where this is adorable little fan comic where Parasol bursts in being like, Adam, we have to assemble, and Adam has no shirt on, and suddenly Parasol just goes totally fan going like, Adam, and I'm just like, that's kind of hot, actually. <laughs> Same answer, I love Beowulf, but I want Adam to get to be able to give me ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Who's the dumb matrix? That's what it's called. D. Violet. What does that say about you? Yeah. D. Violet's awesome. What, what does that say about me, Sarah? I don't know, you tell me. I don't know, you tell me. You tell me. You tell me. Oh. <laughs> you didn't do it. You didn't do it. Yeah. 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 I like how that's like a running. Congratulations. Congratulations. Shut up, Shinji. I just also want Adam from both of you. So. Can we just share? The shifty eyes, that's why. Those eyes. It's a military career man. He buys lots of ice cream. I'm gonna go with Big Band because he can play beautiful music whenever I want. Um. Pain wheel, obviously. I mean, yeah. I've, always, I've always had a thing for ceiling fans, so. <laughs> it was, yeah. Just go 
go with you, and then you. Um, what you guys here in the station? Please do so. <laughs> Out of all of a whole bunch of different colors looking like an acid trip. 
Speaking of kind of that natural the, the old timey, the old timey cartoon one. Yeah, I really like that one. Not that I Caught myself. Um, oh my god, I, I just had it. Oh, um, Billy has like a Miku Hatsune, I think. That was really cute. You know what's awesome? The freaking Adventure Time palette they gave you guys. Which queen? Oh, they gave her the fin? I've never seen that one. It's beautiful, and it's all shaded weird. Oh, look! She's really awesome. She's I like the uh, Valentine palette. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like she has like Valentine palette. I really like the old timey cartoon one, but one I'm waiting for that hasn't been released yet, but was part of the Kickstarter, I think, um, was the anime uh, Peacock. I think it is. Is that going to be a skin? A skin? I don't know. I thought it was a skin. Mm. That'd be cool if they did. Yeah. Be easy. You can a lot of stable room stuff on there. something that they, the casting director didn't even think of. They'll be like, oh, I like that voice, it wasn't something I thought of, and then they'll change the character to that, but that's really rare. So that's pretty much the only time we can have to change a character or have any kind of or stamp on it. a chair and attack with a chair. Spoiler, it's much more than a roll. Oh, Cajun. Slightly scared for swings. 